They're a group of young women that have come together a few years ago. And sometimes a little bit of conflict has happened, but they have risen from that and grown stronger. I want to introduce to you the Native American Woman Warriors. Okay, my name is Angel Young. Um, I am an enrolled member at the, of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. I've served in the United States Army Reserves. I'm currently the secretary for the Native American Women Warriors. We try to bring recognition to women warriors. We didn't get a lot of recognition in the past, and there are so many out there that deserve that honor, deserve that recognition, and that's our goal, is to bring that, bring, the, bring recognition to women warriors, past, present, and future. My name is Michaela Leary. I am a member of the Ute Mountain Ute Tribe. I was in the United States Army. My MOS was a 71 Lima. I currently work for my tribe in the administration department. I am the tribal chairman secretary. We just want to represent um, Native American women, their families, um, get them help in any way we can and just be a support group for each other. My name is Arlene Duncan. I am Chippewa tribe with White Earth, Minnesota. I served in the military and the Marine Corps for military police. I joined Native American Women Warriors because I feel it's important for women to be recognized as veterans or currently in the military. And I wanted um, just to show my pride in my own heritage and to be a mentor maybe to um, younger women that are on the reservation just to see that there are women warriors, um, something positive in our life. Hi, my name is Brenda McEwing. I am Dakota Sioux. I'm from the Dakota Teepee Tribe. I served 23 years in the military, in the Army, um, active duty, and Army Reserve, and Army National Guard in the communications. I served a variety of different states um, throughout the United States. Um, as well as a tour in Desert Storm, and also um, in 2005 to 2007 in Iraq. Um, my goal is to help women veterans um, in any possible ways and means. Um, I heard about this through Facebook, um, and then um, I looked into it. They were looking for recruits. Um, I submitted paperwork and introduced myself uh, to them back in November of 2012, at which time they invited me to be a part of their group. Um, currently, I am the treasurer of uh, Native American Women Warriors. My name is Tia Cyrus. I am from the Crow Nation out of Crow, Montana. My mom's military, my dad's military, so I grew up in a military home um, all my life. <laughs> Finally retired, so I, I'm very proud of my family. I joined NAW, Native American Women Warriors, to show my appreciation for all the Native American women and plus the warriors, uh, just to, to show my appreciation. And my mom too, she's, she's made me a proud daughter. Ah, hey, big talk here, baby. You can never say enough about these individuals. These are our veterans, these are warriors. They put themselves in harm's way for the sake of our people, for the sake of our children, for the sake of the generations that have yet to come. And they serve proudly as they represented not only themselves, but their family, their tribe, and all of the Indian people all over this world. Coming together at this time and representing, especially those that have given the ultimate sacrifice their life, their comrades that they fought side by side in the battlefield. And as they do that, they come here and they present these colors in which they represented and they fought so hard for. And they put themselves in harm's way for our sake. Freedom, but this freedom is 